This new research facility has two components to it. The upper two floors, which are known as the LAM Institute for Translational Research, focus on developing uh, the laboratory insights that are necessary uh, to translate into clinical research, which will be undertaken in the lower two floors of this building. So they're really an integrated facility bringing uh, the discovery in the laboratory into um, the investigation of new clinical treatments in patients. So the research um, is aligned with the university's strategic areas, um, which are cancer, um, medical device technology, and regenerative medicine. They would be three of the main areas that will be explored in the translational research facility and ultimately would be converted to clinical trials in the clinical research facility. I'm specifically involved in the regenerative medicine um, and medical device technology area of, of, of the research and, and more specifically interested in the use of stem cells um, for treatment of diabetic complications and other blood vessel disorders. So one of the clinical trials um, that we're currently involved with is using um, stem cells isolated from patients' bone marrow uh, to try and restore blood flow to the leg um, in situations where it's critically limited. So it's a condition known as critical limb ischemia. It's very common in patients with diabetes and results in the need for amputation um, in many cases. So the trial will take patients who uh, present with critical limb ischemia, they generally present with pain at rest or ulceration in the leg. Um, and if they have no option for, for, for restoring the blood flow through surgery or through the use of medical devices, we will isolate stem cells from the bone marrow of these patients, grow them up in a specialized facility that we have here in Galway called a, a GMP facility, and after growing them up, inject them back into the um, leg with the critical limb ischemia and this is done in collaboration with my um, partner in vascular surgery Professor Stuart Walsh. We're aiming to help or see if we can help patients with critical limb ischemia which often causes leg ulcers. These are patients who I see in the clinic and in about one patient in three there's no treatment I can offer them other than an amputation and so what we're aiming to do is see if injections of stem cells along the leg will improve the blood flow and thus allow us to avoid amputation for these patients. At the moment we're enrolling the first nine patients and the aim of that is to make sure that the treatment is safe and if we can show the treatment is safe then we plan to move on to a larger trial to see whether or not the treatment can reduce the need for amputation in these patients. We're dealing essentially with conditions of unmet medical need so we, we focus on diseases uh, that we don't have good treatment options for at the moment. We'll have uh, approximately 100 patients in them, but then there'll be additional trial activity in the medical device area and in the cancer area.